come down here. I was talking away, I don't know where I cut myself off and um, looked at the front of the phone screen and I'd ended the video. Dog! So I don't know what I was talking about there with you lastly. Um, you got stuck did you because you've come over the side with the fence? You're not going to be able to get under, are you? Why don't you go back over? I'll have to go over. Come on. Silly old thing. So, what was I talking about? I was talking about, okay, do you think it's a psychological operation times, you know, the multitudes? Or do you think rather that, you know, something is happening in our universe or it's just nothing and it's just, you know, we get lumped together by YouTube and we're following these certain cases and maybe there's some sort of algorithm that's picking up on all the, um, come on, bub, picking up on all the um, commonalities and somehow bringing things to our attention that have these matches. But it's pretty queer, don't you think, you know. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's it's kind of like, you know, our little world is it's running out of data, running out of RAM or something, you know. Um, it's like a Scrabble board that's becoming full. I don't know. I don't know if I cut myself off before I was saying even about this poor little tributary. Well, this is the Kedron Brook and it should be flowing. Hopefully when the floods come it will be right up to that second clump of trees. Right up there, metres high, but I doubt it will get that high um, probably just up to the first set of trees there yeah everything's so dry what do you think what do you think about all these weird things you know are they weird to you um, do you think that people are silly when they say Whoa, you know, what's going on here? Or, I think less that it's any sort of, you know, psychological operation going on, not that they don't exist, but I, I tend to think, and I've expressed this before, I think it's somehow some sort of energy download, and, you know, we're just so saturated with so much more negativity let's just call it that is just coming out left right and center and can barely be contained and it's true you know the more that you become aware of something the more awareness you have and the more powerful something becomes or more um more inserted in your life it becomes you know but I, th I do think you have to be very careful about what you're listening to and what you're believing and fact check things because people for their own <laughs> for their own um reasons let's say they will manipulate you they make a very good case they can make something so compelling and exciting and they draw you in and if you don't take that time to be objective and just to look at something and analyze it you can be suffering 
beliefs that aren't based in reality they're not based in fact people have got it wrong but they don't care it sounds good it's close enough sort of thing um, but you can really get swept along you know and you've got to you know protect yourself like that but I guess it's why even just for we could say the fun of it just because it's interesting it's why I'm not going to talk very much about all the connections between things and it's in a way because I like to guard my mental health because I don't like to let it slip down into um, what's essentially insanity you know but at the same time, I think we need to be aware that we don't really understand as much as we, we think. And there is some sort of phenomenon going on and we need to understand the mechanism of it. We need to understand what is creating it. If it is just like how I think of it, if it's just, if it's energy somehow, I can't explain it any other way. Um, you know, the collective consciousness and it's it's everything that's gone before and it's everything that people focus on and it's things that are finding outlets everywhere and it's just all starting to really implode. <laughs> um, you know. Because, you know, just something as simple as Monarch, it is mind control then you've got brian laundry you know brainwashing you've got suzanne well kind of caught between a rock and a hard place really wasn't she because she had monarch pass a few miles beyond her home and monarch high school right next to you know the broomfield hotel and express not right next but you know in that just just that little bit over and is it just that we start noticing things and now that um, now that as a sort of culture we like to look into these things and we're intrigued by them is it simply to do with the fact that we just notice them more because of that we're looking we're looking for it and these things always existed even when the world was larger or smaller however you look at it I don't know I'm not really making sense I'm so sorry and because I don't know where I cut off this last video Let's see if we can get dog to have a proper swim are you gonna have a proper swim there are actually there's so many better watering holes and in the creek it's you know, it doesn't have to be much higher than this, that there are watering holes that, you know, if I wanted to, I can go swimming in. Yeah. Listen to the birds for a minute. things are bonkers in Australia right and uh, I don't want to upset anyone that's into sport or anything like that and I know that plenty of people that um, enjoy sport either playing it or supporting it having a team that they follow sometimes for life you know and sometimes um, in a familial way where they're brought up supporting Carlton say and that's how they die um, 
it's not to say that there's you know a type of person that's into sport and a type of person that's into arts but throughout this whole thing I don't know what it's been like overseas but in Australia um, arts programs get cancelled theatre music all these just beautiful stimulating things that inspire and make people feel good in a particular way those things were cancelled those things were cancelled uh, you can't get together in a group so there will be no sport but even in the middle of lockdowns etc guess what goes up marching on so guess what people or what culture is being propped up what messages are you telling what sort of people are being um, subdued and oppressed and who are, is being supported well 50,000 people at a rugby game in a stadium but we can't have a thousand people go to an opera a classical music concert you can't have 200 people or 20 people at a jazz concert um, I've told you recently you know you go out somewhere and there might be music and all the little millennials are sitting down at the tables nicely like they should you can't even stand up and just dance just move to the music but you can go and drink beer out of plastic tumblers and rub shoulders with a madding crowd of 50,000 screaming and yelling and sweating and feeling I guess very you know I don't know, primitive? I don't know. It's just appealing to a different energy, isn't it? Even though those people think, yeah, they're having a great time and they're uplifted. Okay, so let's allow people that want that environment to be uplifted, but let's not have the people that are sensitive or more sensitive or maybe with other ways of feeling uplifted can you stop darling stop stay um you know but everyone else can actually remain um you know without stimulation without social activity without the things that are so important to them without those things that sustain them without the things that um sorry um are going to you know get them through life and not only that the sports people are then getting paid but who's paying the artist who's paying the singer the musicians the stage directors the lighting people the costume people who's paying uh, uh, for their life to be sustained but we're, we're keeping the sports people ug ug you know um, I just find it absolutely I, I find it so depressing I find it abhorrent I find it unconscionable it's unconscionable and and that's Australia for you that's Australia yeah mate you know the hypocrisy and the inconsistency is diabolique and then we've got Jacinda Arden in New Zealand Freemason educated Jacinda Arden um, who yeah did so well during you know the incident in Christchurch didn't she you know New Zealand actually had a terrorism event some guy I think he even traveled from overseas to go and blow up some mosque in Christchurch now some truthers will say that no one died but you know and then we've got Mike King monarch meaning Mike King I guess you could make that if you wanted to um, there in Christchurch at the time incidentally to talk to the police commissioner about something do some sort of training you know so 
you know, she has this opportunity to do, I guess, what Anna Bly did during the 2011 floods, and that is to be the leader that people wanted and needed. And she's a woman, she's Prime Minister, she's pregnant, she's having babies, and she's, well, now she's leading us, and so now leading the way in this totalitarianism, right? during our current which is now the new situation you know it's our new universe okay accept it this is normal um so you know so that when 2019 end of came about she was in place as someone that her word was golden. Her word wasn't questioned. And I don't know. I, I just have to, I know that's a very, it's, it's such an awful thing to say, isn't it? Because of, if, I think truth is need to be careful of what they're talking about because they need to be aware that they are hurting people. They might truly believe that people didn't die, but people died and people are grieving and it is insulting and disgusting to say that everything is a psyop to the degree that they will scoff that people you know, didn't die, or, you know, everyone's a crisis actor or an actor. Um, and these plots just become so <laughs> crazy and uh, complicated, yeah. Um, gee, you know, what sort of project management course do you have to take to be able to do that? I mean, obviously, there's a glut of evil geniuses Actually, I can't remember. Is glut meaning that there's a um, lack of? <laughs> Obviously, there's enough evil geniuses in the world and enough people that can, you know, manage to carry out all these complicated instructions, um, you know, which is why I prefer to think that it's an energy thing, you know, it's an energy thing. We don't understand the universe. We don't understand what... <laughs> what operates us, <laughs> you know, our consciousness, uh, we, we don't understand it, and so I don't really understand what's happening in the world, but I know something is, I don't think it's just a matter of, you know, um, as per when you're psychotic and you start, you know, seeing signs and symbols everywhere i mean it's beyond that it's clearly beyond that isn't it um can it be explained away by okay if we just took what i was talking about before was right you're in your sort of little groups your community so you know that's where these clusters are and i guess you'd have to crunch the numbers for everything to see okay well does summer mean something? Does monarch mean something? Overall, if you could crunch the data for 100% of crime, for example, right? Then you'd know if it's meaningful. But maybe there's just other clusters, and within those clusters, uh, you know, us, and they're seeing the same things. They're different, but they're the same things you know, repeated names, you know, maybe it's not Lee, which is very, see, it's very common, and particularly in certain states, right, this middle name, Lee, a prickle puppy, he'd be a useless working dog, wouldn't he, because he's, if someone's going to get a prickle, or bitten by an ant, it's this little sausage here, isn't it, come on, you know, so you can rationalize away many things and you can realize that, hey, statistics work a certain way 
and if you're not using data correctly then you are just laboring under falsities you know you're not working with fact you're not working with um, logic you, you're skewed um, and you know this is certainly something that happens you know you just ignore other data for example and just see certain things but no I, I don't know I think it's just it's just too bizarre you know how many other girls I mean sure how many other girls were photographed against that mural and probably many of them have the name Gabrielle you know what I mean um, oh this is just a terrible 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 um, rant I'm not making any sense I just thought I'd have a chat just a little bit distracted all the time every time I have dog with me especially when he gets himself trapped on a bridge and things like that trippity trap anyway I'll let you guys go and hopefully uh, part one and part two of whatever this was um, <laughs> works out. Uh, people just realise. Uh, and I don't want these trolls coming on going, uh, you are dangerous, you're causing a problem, how dare you say that, I'm reporting you. As I did have on my video where I wanted to talk about... Um, know how the pandemic has affected people's mental health right um, apparently you're not allowed to discuss that wow I mean censorship from little Jane Doe right well yes anywho what I was actually saying about Jacinda Arden was she was urging people just the population uh, namely the population of New Zealand who have had their vaccinations she says I want you to all become influencers you need to all become vaccination influencers and even if it's one person or a hundred thousand spread the word now this is not the job of a Jane Doe or a John Smith to spread the word about a vaccination they are simply not qualified they're simply not knowledgeable sure they may have had it um, and they can talk about how they didn't have any side effects or they can talk about how they only felt sick for two weeks and then mildly sick, sick for six weeks or whatever it is okay um, but th this is just disgusting to you know, it's like when you're listening to the um, tabloid newscasters on their good morning shows, um, and they are ranting and raving, kind of like I am, right? But, you know, telling you, how dare you, you are letting the nation down, you are disgusting, you are trouble, you are why we are in lockdown. You know, they, they're not qualified to say that. They're journalists, and their job is to get the experts on. But how often is the person delivering you the news or the opinion or the instructions about vaccinations, about all sorts of things? How often is it a newscaster, sometimes not even a full-blown journalist, it might even be the weather girl giving you her opine, um, how often is it more likely to be a newscaster, media person, social media person, or a politician? Uh, if they don't have the right degrees, um, they're not qualified to talk to us. Um, and then what happens is we get the reverse, where people aren't allowed to ask questions and talk about it and give vent to their concerns and discuss things in the community ah but yes Jacinda says discuss it as long as you are a vaccination influencer so yes people all become influencers and um, go about your merry little lives thanks for listening see you later